Hello, everyone. It's getting closer to Christmas. Uh, and I just feel like I can't get everything done. So, I don't know how you guys are doing, but man, I am doing the 12 days of Christmas videos. And I'm doing a wreath that I'm making for myself right now. And we haven't decorated our tree yet because we need to put our TV up on the fireplace. But it's too heavy for us to do by ourselves. So, we're waiting on our children to come. But then it snowed. So my, well, I'm waiting for my son and his family to come. But it snowed and that got all messed up. So, needless to say, we were sad not to see them, but they needed to be safe. So, we're finishing this today. It's only going to be decorated. My plan is to only decorate it with the ephemera that came with the kit, which is uh, chapter one papers on Etsy and yeah I believe this is the snowy Christmas snowy winter Christmas or something like that okay I don't have the name in front of me I'm sorry so <clears throat> we will probably do this cover with some we'll probably add some sequins or something to the covers but we're gonna wait on that and go inside oh it's just really hard to decorate this because I don't want to cover up any of the stuff and honestly probably would be better oh I got to cut this I do remember I needed to cut that um I really think peeps you peeps would love it more if you could decorate it yourself and that way you can cover what you want up and I may fix it where you do a lot of that because we have pockets here, right? All kinds of pockets. I think I'm gonna fill them full of ephemera. I've really been thinking about this. This is nothing new. I'm gonna fill them full of ephemera and whoever purchases this gets to decorate how they want because some of this stuff you may not want to cover up because this paper is stunning, okay? I mean, it's beautiful. And at some point, I will probably make myself a journal just like this. So right now, I'm trying to go through the scraps and see if I have a scrap that will fit right here that matches not, I may have to, oh, I feel like I had another one. Maybe I was going to cut one. See, like I need that little section right there and right there. I may have to put them together and put them on. I may have to do it that way. And that's okay too. Oh, I just love that. Okay. So that is my plan. I was going to decorate it, but I'm thinking now I don't want to mess it up for anybody because it is very pretty. Now, I'm going to cut with my very tight Tim Holtz scissors that have hardly been used, but they're so tight to use. Huh, you just, you know, you have to choose your pain, I guess. Maybe they'll loosen if I give them an opportunity. Uh, now that my hand's done, maybe I can use them a little bit. Okay, so let's get that on here. And let me get some ink on there. This is the, uh, uh, this is the Iced Spruce, which is a Tim Holtz Distress Oxide. Okay, let me get some more on my... And for some reason, there's glitter on my glue. <laughs> I think it's from me doing the Nutcracker. I used it when I did the Nutcracker last time. Not this year, but last time. I'm glad I opened that up and saw that this was missing. I knew I had, for, I had forgot about it, but I knew it was missing because... Uh, I noticed it last time I was 
in the book. So I'm going to erase this right here. Now, what I'm going to do in this video, and if I don't get it done, it will be done before it's sold, is I'm going to, I am going to um, put a little bit of a journal in this back section. Oh, this is not the same size, which is aggravating. So let me cut this down a little bit. You know how that goes, right? I didn't realize that until after I went after it. I'm just going to do like a, a little bigger. I'm going to do the, I say a little bigger, a little smaller than these um, images. I don't have, I want to print, I'm going to see what I've got printed, but I want to print something that would match with this, I think, uh, for the cover of that little part. So you want it to look like it goes in this one little arrangement. And I'm thinking I don't have that one. So, Let's line it up. Keep everything lined up when you're covering. Okay. And then we'll do the part down here, which we know is going to end up um, being, having a binding put over it. So, that's okay. Okay. There we go. Let's line it up right here. Looks like it was made for each other, huh? Okay. So let me get in this paper, the bigger portions here. And I know there was one other page I thought that I wanted to use on the cover, I couldn't decide, and so I'm thinking I printed another one that might work. If not, we'll come up with a cover. It won't be a problem. Let me go through here and see which one that was. I can't fill it in here. These are all on copy paper, which I'll put some of these in with the journal. Now, let's see. I didn't show you these beautiful ornaments. See, that's part of the kit too, which I would send some of those as well. I think maybe, uh, okay, this is called the New Snowy Christmas Garden. New Snowy Christmas Garden. I just found it. I thought I printed off some others on cardstock, but I'm feeling like maybe I did not. So I will need to do that. But we can get the papers ready and the ephemera ready and stuff like that for um, the kit. So basically what it's going to end up being is it's going to end up being a journal right here with some um, coffee stained paper. So hold on, let me grab it. Um, and then I'll put the cover on it. That's so weird. I could have swore I printed another one. Listen, I did so much printing I um, fell asleep off and on. Okay, does that tell you something? Okay, now, I do have some pink paper. I'm going to try not to use the very darkest, but most of my paper is pretty dark right now. Uh, and then I have a few light pieces. There's a couple really light pieces. Let's put those in there. Some One side's light, the other side's not so, so light. 
Now I'm not going to overstuff this book either because it's it's not made to have a big giant journal in it. So I've got some pink paper, but really that pink probably will not go with the journal. I'm looking here thinking, oh, do I want to use some of that pink? I say it's pastel, why not, you know? Hmm. All right, so let me zip this up. I need to get Emily over at, oh gosh, I can never remember, I can tell you here. Um, I'll read it, see if she wrote it on here. Oh, she didn't. She just wrote me a letter. So I will, you know, Gail always uses her too. It's the same girl. Her name is Emily. And I have her card somewhere. I'm gonna tell you because I've got it. I've already said it. I might as well find it, right? I think I have her in my Rolodex. Let me look. Well, I don't right there. Let's see. I must have not ever gotten a card from her. I'm looking here. Excuse me while I check it out. Um, I know I have her card because I've seen it. Well, I'll try to figure it out. And if I can, I'll put it below. But she, she does wonderful work on coloring paper. And you get a great value. I'm still kind of thumbing through all these cards to make sure because I'm not sure. Okay, well, it's not in there. I know I, I have a letter from her somewhere that's in a package. I keep all my, all the things that come from people. Okay, so... I'm not making this gigantic either. So we're just gonna have, you know, a couple, couple sheets of pink and then, I gotta get my lights on, I'm sorry guys. I bet it's dark, isn't it? Whoa, makes a big difference when I get my lights on. Okay. Get this pink out of here eventually. Goodness. There we go. Okay, and one more. Let's get it from this other person. I like to give you a variety. I order pink, which is avocado printed. And I'm getting low. I need to get some ordered. Whoops. I am so sorry. I just conked you right in the head. Okay. There is that. Let's put a pretty one in there if I can get one open. Where does this open at? Oh, right there. All right, come out of there. Oh, there's pink in there too. Okay, here we go. We're gonna get this other paper out of the way. And we won't be able to bind this right now because um, I want to print off the cover. And I will print it off like it will look like this. And it'll probably have the bird on the front and the, the gazebo on the back. Okay. All right. I'm going to start with this pretty one and a, and a pink then a tea stain and then a pink and then a tea stain and that's where we'll start and I may end up adding more okay because I'm going to fold it and it will be right here but we got to get it cut to the right size now I'm going to also add several of the pages from the kit okay and I'm gonna add this snowman one 
and there's a several that's really cute that need to be added in here. How about the chandelier one? Isn't that pretty? Oh, I just found this, but it's not it's not on cardstock, but it really doesn't matter. So maybe we'll go ahead and do the cover after all. There we go. And it wouldn't be the same book if we didn't have that, right? So let me get some more. I've got more that's already, oh, that's pretty. Okay, here we go. That one, I need to move it. It's got some lines in it. There's that one. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I'm so sick of my printer putting lines on my paper whenever I follow the rules. Here's another really pretty one. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? One more snowman one. I'm not putting all these. I'm going to decide. I'm going to narrow it down. Uh, okay. Now, let's see what we've got. <clears throat> so, let's start with this one. Because that is the front, right? And... Then we want to, where's my paper that I had all nice and stacked? Oh, it's under here. Here it is. Now, we'll have to trim all these to fit, but this is going to be the front right there. And um, and then I, I've put all the basic solid colors in there. So, I think what we're going to do is go through here and kind of alternate papers and designs. And I really really love this one. I thought you might enjoy that. These are printed on the back as well. They're just stained is what they are. So let's do this one with the bows. I think that's gorgeous. And I know it doesn't, you know, it's not part of the, and I love this. It's kind of like a, um, one that you would cut for borders or something, you know. And next, is let's, let's do the chandelier pretty isn't it and let's do have we already done that one we have let's put it aside we haven't done the white snowman we'll do that and on the back let's do the pink now and see it will be like this. Now, some of this blue outside might not make the cut. So, I'm gonna get my my, my uh, trimmer out. I don't, I you know, I wanna show you exactly what you're gonna end up with. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put it together and then I'm gonna surprise you with all the embellishments that will be in the kit. I'm gonna let you decorate and I'm gonna it's not really a kit. I keep saying kit. It's a uh, folio. But I'm going to let you put what you like in there. And I'm going to decorate the cover. Let me get my trimmer. My big trimmer because it's a little faster. I've got so much on my desk. It's not even funny. Okay. Here we go. See what we can get accomplished with this big old thing. Let me open it out. Sometimes my Mickey Mouse, isn't he cute? Or isn't she cute? Or Minnie Mouse gets in the way. <laughs> I have to move her. Okay, now. There's that. So let's cut... Let me measure this real quick. That would help, right? Because I know that we've uh, already written them down somewhere, but I just want to make sure that we measure them correctly for the paper. All right, so six and three fourths. So we're going to do six and a half by. Get this right here. Six and three fourths. 
We're gonna do six and a half for the height, okay? And then the width is going to be just a little over four and a half. You could do four and three fourths, okay? All right, here we go. Now, as we go, we have to figure out, okay, how do we want to, to cut this, right? So I'm gonna go in this band a little bit and just see if that ends up being right for me. It probably will not be. So six and a half is right here. Yeah, it's not gonna be. Let's see if we can bring it down just a little bit and get just a little bit of this border and then flip it around. I made the border smaller, so I'm trying, trying to get it in there. Okay, let's get it nice and straight. No, it's not gonna be, oh, that's aggravating. So, I'm gonna do a teeny tiny bit. I'm not giving up. I'm still gonna try to get just a little bit of that blue border. Just a little bit. Well, that didn't work. I did it totally wrong. Well, no wonder, Paula. I didn't have it pushed out. Hello. Okay, let's see. If I did six and a half, it'd be right here. So we know that won't work. So let's just barely see if that will help. Just take a smidgen off of this down here. So we might go, we're gonna go a little bit higher. We're going to go another eighth inch and see. You know, see, that's going to just cut it off. So we're going to, I'm wanting to get it where you have a tiny bit of border. I know that I can't get it where um, you don't have any. <laughs> I mean, it wants to be none whatsoever, but I'm trying to get just a tiny strip of it anyway. Okay, so we're just going to move it right here. And whatever this ends up is, is the size we're going to use. I'm going to fold it and make sure it's not too big for the book. Okay, let's see. Let's trim off. So now we've got, and I said it was going to be four and four and let me put this in half so I know exactly how far out we need to go um, to get this, to get it to fit where it looks like a cover a little bit, right? Okay, so this is going to be... We know we want to cut that off, so let's just cut that off, okay? Now, let's see if we can get it the width that we want. It's going to be the same sort of thing. We're going to have to cut really short. Let's pull it in here. Do it as small as we can to get a little bit of a border. Now, let me see what this measures. The other paper may be a little bit smaller. This actually ends up being five, which is going to be too big. So, huh, let me put this over here and see what we've got. Okay, so let's pull it out here and open everything out. And let's see what... Yeah, we're gonna have to take the rest of that off. I am so aggravated, but that's the best I can do, guys. We're gonna have to take some more off. It has to be just over four and... Hmm, hmm. I don't wanna cut the birdie off either. I'm trying to keep it pretty. <laughs> I hope you guys can see where I'm cutting here. Let me look. Just barely. Let me move it in some. There you go. That should be better. All right, so if we go back here again and open this up, let's see where it takes us. It's going to be still a tiny bit too long, so I'm going to have to go to the 
to the uh, point that I thought. Well, we just do the best we can, right? So it's going to be four right there, four and two eighths. No, four and a half and two eighths, or two sixteenths, or one six, or one eighth. I'll get it out in a minute. Okay, there we go. Finally, finally we have it where we need it to be. So now we know what to cut the rest of the paper, right? So I'm going to get an exact on here. So when I cut it, it's all the same. All right, so there we go. So we're going to cut to nine and a quarter by... nine and a quarter by six and two eighths. Okay, here we go. Let's just cut it, just fold it in half. Now, if we're just doing like the tea stain paper, we don't have to do anything, you know, too special anyway. I'm gonna set this beside it so I don't mess up. I want them to be exactly alike. Why is my paper acting like it's crooked? I know it's not. Okay. Needs to go down just a tiny bit more. Just a tiny bit more. Six and, okay, that's exactly right. Okay, now we need it to be, I should have this by now, but it's an odd amount. Okay, right there. All right, so what I will do is I will, I'm not gonna sit here and bore you cutting. <laughs> so I will cut, that's still a little long. Let's fix it. I will cut all the paper off camera cause that's extremely boring, but you get the idea of what we're doing. Um, and that way you'll have a little bit of a surprise. Now this is gonna fit nice. This is gonna end up in the back, between the two pockets in the back, and it will look really nice laying right here, okay? Now, um, I'll do the book, I'll bind it in and everything, and I think you'll like it a lot. Now, I'm not cutting all that in front of the video because it will just take forever, right? So for right now, I'm just gonna set this inside the back of the book. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna decorate. Well, I better move it, it's not wanting to cooperate. Let's decorate the front. Okay, we're gonna do the front of the book. Let me move the, let me move this big giant thing out of the way. <laughs> and let me get my sequins and gems. I really think it would be pretty to use silver or white if we end up doing sequins just because it's really, those are good color to use. Okay. I know it's crazy, crazy, crazy. Let's see if I have like a little mint green in here that is kind of the same color. It's not, it's kind of a blue green and it's not really a, you know, color that you'd want to use for this sort of thing. So 
or would want to use for this sort of thing. Get it out, Paula, get it out. So probably I'm looking here to find the right, I don't really see anything other than clear that would look good on here. Um, so let me get some clear out. Here's some different sizes. Let's get that one. Now, also, we have sequins. Okay. We have some white sequins right there in the bottom. Okay, let me get those out so they don't spill right there. And we could do kind of a minty green. Let me see what will match. Hmm, maybe this bottom one, but I'm not sure. Maybe not. It's kind of a different green. Come down there. Oh, I don't know. That would be pretty. So let's work with those two colors. Um... We're not going to go crazy, but we can put those on. All right. And then they're going to attach to me and you and whoever. They Sometimes you just have to wet your finger <laughs> to pick them up. Now, I also have these I just remembered. I just saw them and it reminded me. I have these little flower snowflakes, which would be pretty on there, you know, with all the other goodness. Oh, there they are, right there. See? They're like a little flower, but they're really, I think, supposed to be a snowflake. Ooh. Yeah. That one's got two or three on it. I thought it looked pretty thick. Those would be pretty too, but I'm thinking, mm, I don't know. I'll think on that one just because they're pretty, uh, they're also a lot like a flower. And I think we'd be better off doing the little ones. I just think these look too much like a flower. Okay, so let's put these up and let me set them aside out of our way. Now, I'm going to get my little gem setter. This is a crystal katana, katana tool case. And these, the tool case was $9, or the case was $9. I bought this at a um, scrapbook convention. And they're not cheap. They're like $20-something. But I always have trouble picking up the gems, you know, because my fingers are clumsy. So, we're going to get started right here decorating this one first. And I'm thinking... Sorry, let's get in dry mouth. It's hard to talk to you guys when my mouth is just like... Mm. So, there's some snowflakes already on the background. So, I'm thinking... Let's put some gems in those for sure, right? Here's one right here. There's, you know, I'm I'm just trying to find those particular ones. Now, you just take this, uh, I don't know how they work with sequins because I've never used this with sequins before. But I just, it picks up and then you get it where it goes and then you flip it. You don't want to get glue on the tip because... They say it, you know, it'll ruin your tip. So we have one right here. Whoops, and see it just fell over. Where normally when they fall over, you have to like, you know, get all in the glue. This keeps you from doing that. I do not know who I ordered this from. You just have to Google it. I've had it for a long, long time. But they're made for crystals. But the nice thing is they're made for crystals, but they're 
there you can use them for uh gems gems and sequins also and then just don't put your tip the your rubber tip into the the glue and then we're gonna flip this one over this is, I flip them over so I know I get it in the right spot. Okay, we got one more that needs a sequin. Okay, there we go. Okay, now those are so adorable, but there's not enough of them in my opinion. So, I've decided not to add the green. I think it's too much. By looking at this, I feel like it's too much. So, I'm going to add another one right here because why not, you know? And maybe one right here between the two trees. And maybe one right over here beside the trees. Um, so, let's do that. Here we go, right there. Okay, let me get the other one. It goes right here. One more. It wants to pick up the clear ones, <laughs> which you don't know you have until you get into the kit or into the kit. Why do I keep saying that? I don't get it. Until I get into the sequins, I don't realize there's clear ones. All right, so these are all in the sky representing snowflakes, okay? Now, let's see if we need any more. Um kind of need some up here i know i'm i you know they tell you to stop but i like them and i think it looks pretty when you you know the more you can have on here that's my opinion i'm sticking to it and right here now that's enough right Let's get them right. Where did it go? Okay, let's flip this over. If I can get it to flip over, cooperate. Nope, it doesn't want to cooperate. Let me flip it over. So I'm not in real good practice of how to do this anymore. It's been so long since I did it. I don't use them all the time. You know, when you don't use sequins or gems on your stuff all the time, it makes it kind of challenging. I needed to lift some of these out because it keeps lifting these little tiny ones out. Drive me crazy. I don't know about you guys, but we've been busy today. We are busy. We've never been busy in our life. Well, since we retired, it's, we've been busy. <laughs> you have to move pretty quick because this glitter glue dries fast. And um, it makes it a lot easier if you can just... Drop them on there. Now, I know that's a lot, but I like it. When, I don't know if, when, when you see it snow, there's not just one or two. There's a bunch. Listen, we had snow. We had rain. We had a little bit of everything. Plus... When it snows, it doesn't just snow on certain things. It snows all over, right? So I'm going to put one right there and right here. 
because it's definitely snowing on this little tree. And then one more over here. What's the other one right there? Now, when you have sequins on the front of your book, the main thing is to make sure you let it completely dry. But um, they're going to fall off. You'll have to glue them on every now and then. Um, but if, especially if you're pretty rough with your cover. I don't think we're going to do it on the inside because I feel like this will rub them off. I really like the way that turned out. So we're going to put a couple down here because it is snowing on the front of the tree. And um, hmm, hmm. let's put one right here and right here, and that will be the last ones. And I'm not even gonna look and see, where is my needle to my glue? There it is. I'm not even gonna count and see if it's an odd or even number. Because I think when it gets to this point, your eyes can't tell the difference as far as what's, um, you know, what's easy to see and what's not. My air conditioner is on 65 and we had snow. Oh, crud. <laughs> Look what I did. Um, we had snow yesterday and it's freezing in here. I'm going to have to put my jacket on. I just realized that my hands are really cold. Okay, we'll put that one there. And that one there. I think, I think that's all. Now I'm gonna hold that up to you and let you see. See how that looks? I like to do this. I did a, I'm gonna show you. I did an album. I don't know how many of you like uh, Stamperia paper, but I did an album. I haven't finished it with the Make-A-Wish Christmas, uh, you know, and what I did is I added, oh, I got that on there. I added gems on it. There was a star everywhere. There's a gem. So I just decided to add this Dream Believe archive. Let's go in here and I'll show you how it looks on the inside. This isn't even part of this video. This is bonus. This is a bonus thing. I'm sharing my, my, uh, my album that I made this year. I like to make albums to put pictures in of our family Christmases. And so that's what this, this is a snap book. I haven't labeled the year yet, but I will. And this is the back. And um, what is that on there? Looks like it got set on something. I'm going to have to, I'll clean it off later. But anyway, I'll show you. Let me show you. I haven't shown it to anyone, so you guys are the first to see it. <laughs> no, I've seen it. My friends have seen it. I popped up the angel. I, I, I had two pieces of paper. I bought two sets of the Make-A-Wish, or I bought the big set. I can't remember which, but I, I wanted to make sure that I'd have two so that I could put the angel popped up and the angel paper underneath. So I put a piece of the angel paper, then I fussy cut the angel, and then I popped her up on some foam tape, and then I did the same thing with the star, and then I just did simple gems on the front. And I love how it turned out. I used Sorry Silk here, just tied it around the front cover. You'll see here where I tied it. See right there. Now, inside it, I like to paper piece. You guys know that about me. And I make a lot of albums. <laughs> so, um, on here, I just paper piece, like, you know, different pieces. Like, I wanted it to all match. Okay, this is a pocket I put on, the red polka dot, which came in the snap album. 
and it was real bright, so I toned it down with Vintage Photo. And I love this Christmas tree. I just love it. And I put it on one of the folders that come in the snapbook. And here is one of the journaling cards, the back of one of the journaling cards. And then I just cut out the circle and you can do whatever you want with that. It's so cute. And I put the pockets in differently. Here's the uh, ornament page. Here's the ornament journal card. And you can see, I just kind of coordinate it. And here it's polka dot and stripes in this journal, plus these cardboard, or uh, not cardboard, poster, uh, not poster board, chipboard uh, uh, dividers. And so I like to use those. And then you also use the plastic sleeves. And here's my Santa, isn't he cute? And the journaling card for Santa. And the close-up of Santa says, Believe in the magic of Christmas. I love how it turned out. And I did do some, um, you know, hand markings on here. Like on this window, I cut this window paper out. And I put the tag that came in the kit behind here with the Santa. So, you know, this is Santa Claus's home and he has, he would be inside looking out, right? And I did details around some of the things. And then over here, I just took some paper that was left over and it said, Dear Santa. So I just made a little pocket right there, put a couple little tags in it. I'm not crazy about that, this ribbon. I may change it, but I'm not that concerned. And then here's a journaling card with a poinsettia to match this one over here. And flipping it over, here is the village. I added these little ornaments at the top. Here's the journaling card for the village. And then here is an angel. Angels watching over you. That's what I, that's what, how I felt. And then you flip this over. And here is the moon. And and here is the kitty cat that roams at night. So I'll put pictures here. And then another journaling card with the city. The nighttime city with the moon. It says home. Different polka dotted paper. They do different size polka dots and stripes in here. And then here is the the back side with the angel wings. It says, love came down at Christmas. Love always, love all, lovely, love divine. Love was born at Christmas. Star and angels gave the sign. And then here's a side tuck. And here are all the sleeves that you'll go in and put your pictures in. And yeah, then these were some pages that were in there if you wanna put notes or use them to cover. But, yeah, I had a lot of fun putting this together. I'm not near finished with it. have my little, I have some embellishments that I found by Simple Stories that look alike, looks like it'd go with this. So, I'm hoping I get a good result from that. But anyway, that, that's totally off the subject of this journal. So, when we're done with this video, which is any minute, we are going to... Um, we're going to, I'm going to, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm going to finish the little journal and attach it. I'm going to get the ephemera ready, and then I'm going to try to get it in my shop as soon as I can. Well, it will probably be toward the end. So I'm going to do a flip through of this journal or folio. It's not, not journal until there's a journal in it, but there will be. Uh, of this little folio and so it's a pocket folio and it's going to be a journal as well here's the other one you flip and then if you flip it over see you can see the whole back I could have done sequins everywhere but it would have been hard to keep them on then <laughs> so I chose not to do that so if you start here at the front you've got it like this Got to be careful so we don't knock those off. And to flip it open. You concentrate here. Look at this paper. It's one page. It's 
got the birds on it. Then I'm gonna flip this open. It's got these beautiful wreaths, I love it. But right here is a pocket. I'm gonna show you that, see? And then on this one right here, here's a pocket in the front and this is solid. On this side, you have the snowman and this is the paper, it goes all the way over here. And I keep it in order of how I cut it. And there's a pocket right here. And then you've got the bird feeder and the gibzebu. There's a pocket right here. And here is where the journal will live. And then when you open it to the center, you have these really cool blue trees with a border. If you flip this down and flip this up, you have these other cool trees. And you know, you can, you can journal in this. You'll be able to um, just have, you know, a great time with this book. It is different and it's stunning. I think it's really pretty. I was going to make a belly band around it. I think I may just do a, a clip that clips these two together, but it'll be pretty, okay? All right, guys, I hope you had fun helping me make this folio, and I'm going to put tags and envelopes and journaling cards and different things inside these pockets, and it will be a surprise as to what you're getting um, at home, and you will definitely get a few of the papers that you might need, like the ornaments. How cute are they? And some of them I have cut out already, but yeah and the postcards yeah they're it's beautiful all right guys i'll see you in the next video and i hope you have enjoyed this hope you've enjoyed all the holiday things that we've done if you have i'd love if you could hit that subscribe button and join me and find out what's coming up all right guys talk to you soon bye